What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. Folks, it's hump day. We're halfway through the week. It's February 28th. I'm excited about that because we got one more day. And then well, you know what happens? We enter March. And I can't wait for March because we are getting closer and closer to an XRP takeoff. We are getting closer to Bitcoin having its pre having top before we see the correction in the market. And at that point, Money is going to rotate out of Bitcoin and into these old coins. I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on that in the beginning of this video. You're going to like it. We're going to talk about the great crash that's coming. Sam Baker fried what he's using his jail time for. It's kind of laughable. You might have a chuckle. I'm not going to lie to you. Then we're going to talk about the Bitcoin rise and we're going to look at XRP's price chart at the end, what we're currently looking at and where we are targeting. So without further ado, sit back, relax. Let's jump into it. Bitcoin, 59,000. It's up 4.47% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, coming in at $3,302. It's up 1.48%. USDT and USDC, both back at their dollar pegs. Exactly where we want to see them. And XRP, not too shabby now, is it? We're up 58 cents here. 3.95% on in the past 24 hours. Showing a little bit of red on the hourly, but that's all good because it's going to flip back over. Don't you worry. Total cryptocurrency market cap just flashed over into the green. $2 trillion, $216 billion. Remember, $2.7 trillion was the previous all-time high. Where I mean, we're only $500 billion away. A little less. And that's pre halving It's kind of scary now, isn't it? How is this market going to play out? What are we looking at going forward? It is simple. And I put out the tweet yesterday. Already four for four. We're going to make it five for five. We were going to wait till tomorrow. We were going to wait for the Bitcoin monthly close. But as I stated in last night's video, I am so confident Bitcoin is not going to close the month under 48.5. Total cryptocurrency market cap is not going to close under 2 trillion. So the prediction came out last night. Bitcoin, next targets. Simple, 61 to 62,000. I believe that's going to be the top. When we get to those numbers, we can sit back. We can re-examine the charts. Bitcoin's going to get to 61 to 62K. At that time, money will rotate out of Bitcoin and come to all coins. This will be our top for pre-halving. Halving is then going to happen. It's going to occur. What are we going to see in the markets? I know. You're like, Rip, we've heard this. You sound like a broken record. But for everyone tuning in new today to the channel or catching this video, pre having Bitcoin will have a correction. How deep of a correction? 40,000 maybe. I doubt we go back under 48.5 to be quite frank with you. We're not going to see a $3,000 Bitcoin. We're not going to see a 10,000 to Bitcoin. The cycle isn't over. The cycle is actually just getting started. And the fact that we are getting Bitcoin this close to its all-time high pre havings is a very bullish indicator. Very bullish which is making me think that my targets for the four to seven trillion on the overall cryptocurrency market cap are going to be hit on the higher end of that. The more money that comes into crypto, the more money that is going to go into your favorite altcoin. Bitcoin will run after having, after the correction, after the people kick and scream that the bull cycle is over, the, their shit coin didn't make its all time high. I know, I know the narrative. I already see the picture. I see the tweets. I see some nasty DMs I'm going to get in YouTube comments. But it's not done. After that correction, Bitcoin goes back up. Remember the dip. If, if we get that dip, that deep of a dip, say that fast, 48.5. I don't think we re, we break under that again. And then we go push on up and we see that $100 plus thousand dollar Bitcoin. How it's going to play out? XRP, well, I'll get to that in a second. Lux Lions, your time's running out because at the end of the month, March 1st, snapshots taken. XRP gets paid out to all the holders. I don't know what you're doing. I just had an amazing pitch yesterday in front of a bunch, a bunch of venture capitalists. And you know what? They love the project. They love what I'm doing over at Lux Lines. They love who I am. They love my social media. I'm a social media rock star is what some say. And they like the they like the vision. They like where it's going. They like how people are getting rewarded. They like the metaverse and corporations. They like the breeding lab. They like pack openings that are being launched next month. They like that we have our own minting site. They love it all. What is there not to love? 18 months and still going strong and still putting out that XRP each and every single month. 
over, I believe the number, if I remember correctly, was over 300,000 US dollars has been given back to holders. That's just for holding. James Rule, Digital Chamber, they're standing up for crypto rights. They have filed an amicus surrey, friends of the court. In the SEC burst the Kraken case, Perry and DC stated, and I quote, to end the SEC's attempt to regulate the digital asset industry without a legislative authority. Love that. Love that. This is what we need. And Ripple is the one who started this little trickle down effect here because Ripple is the one who put the SEC in their place. If Ripple just paid the fine and they have the money to pay the fine to obey and to listen to whatever the SEC, whatever bullcrap they were throwing out there, we wouldn't be where we are with these other companies fighting back. But Ripple set the bar so high that we now see these other companies, other entities, these other groups stepping in and helping to fight the good fight. I call it the great crash. This is from Fortune.com, hot off the press. The great cash out, Jeff Bezos, Leon Black, Jamie Dimon, and the Walton family have now sold a combined $11 billion in company stock. That's billion with a B this month. Some for the first time ever. What do they know that we don't know? I think that's the question you should be asking yourself. Because these people that sit at these high levels, they always know something. They always get the little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Before something's about to go down. Are we about to see a, a crazy stock market crash? Is that why they're getting out? This is something you really need to keep your eyes on. Just pay attention to the markets out there. Because remember. The bull cycle. How it works. Stock market goes. And it runs. And then crypto runs. And then when stock market starts to sell off. Crypto starts to sell off. Just in, Sam Baker Freed uses his time in jail to promote the Solana coins to the guards. I mean, at least he's using his time in jail to help educate people, I guess, right? I mean, I, first of all, who's getting this information? This is, this is this is like laughable. But you know what? You got to pass your time somehow. I mean, this dude went from being on top of the world, hanging with all these celebrities, having these amazing penthouses in the Bahamas to a little prison bunk. I don't know if he's top bunk or bottom bunk. I wonder what his uh, his cellmate thinks of him, but his life is ruined. You could have all the money in the world, folks, but if you are a corrupt actor, if you are doing wrong, it is always going to catch up to you. It's that simple. Crypto traders, they hedge Bitcoin rally after a 40% rise in four weeks. The options data is showing. Some traders have started buying puts to protect against a potential, protect, potential correction. Yeah, that's what we talked about. You know, I got a text message from a buddy yesterday. He was like, Rip, is it time to sell Bitcoin? I was like, listen, you know, I got the targets at 61 to 62K. If you really want to get cute, if you want to, you know, ride this thing out for an extra two to three thousand dollars, I'm like, you go ahead and do it. But at the end of the day, you need to make your own decision on what you want to do. I do believe a correction is coming after the halving event occurs. And then I believe that will be another buy-in opportunity before Bitcoin makes its push up and goes to its next all-time high. Dark Defender, who remembers this chart? Let me close that real quick. He states, we hit the orange box. I'm having my cup of coffee. So am I. And getting an update. Here's the orange line we're talking about, right? He had it at Fibonacci levels. About 52 cents was the current target to close above. To avoid a correction. And we needed to break above 54 cents. We broke above 54. We're currently sitting about 58 to 59 cents. 66 cents. This is his major target. It goes when 66 cents, 66 cents is broken. That we are going to see a parabolic move within XRP. Each and every single day. What are we doing? We are inching closer to that. XRP just went from 53 cents. 53, 54 we'll call it. Pushed up to 59. We need to break through like that 60 to 62 cent range. So we have a shot at that 66 cent barrier. That happens. We're going to see a parabolic move, which could take us up to approaching that dollar level. No one said the XRP ride was going to be fun. No one said it wasn't going to have bumps along the way because it has a lot of bumps. It has a lot of speed bumps, folks. But we're going to, we're going to break above them. 
It may not, may not be making the moves that you wanted to in the timely fashion that you wanted to, but you know what? At the end of the day, we know one thing. XRP is going to pump. We don't exactly know when XRP is going to pump, but we do know it is one of the last movers to pump and to break out. It's going to happen. All-time high, thing of the past. I'm talking from the future. We're going to be talking about a three, four, five. You saw the German, the people from Germany said yesterday, they said XRP was going to go to 5 to $10. I'm with it. I see it. I envision it. There is absolutely no reason that XRP does not break all-time high this year. Yeah, we have that little class action lawsuit that they're trying to stir up in California because that idiot bought XRP at like, I don't know, I'm making these numbers up. He bought it at 30 cents. It went to 28 cents. He said that Ripple promoted it and that he, he lost money on it. I honestly think the guy lost like a couple hundred bucks and he's trying to sue Ripple for like millions. And you know what? Stir it up. What? Bring all the FUD you want because the biggest FUD is behind us. This little class action lawsuit is going to do nothing. You want to know why? Because that's, uh, the SEC already lost in court. Judge Torres already ruled XRP not to be security and that Ripple was not a first party promoter or a promoter of the asset. So his court case is not going to go anywhere, folks. We have uh, some amazing times ahead of us this year leading into next year. Write it down, pin it on the fridge, wash your damn hands, be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.